Welcome to Kazifo Gaming. I am starting a new weekly series where I tell you which business to buy. Business might not be on discount, but it's definitely a business that you will need, whether you're a veteran or a new player. And later on in the weeks, we will go into the lesser businesses. But every business plays its part in GTA. And I would like to start the series. I still don't know what I'm going to name it. You'll probably see by the name. But the business of this week is the auto shop. Now, if you don't have the auto shop yet, it's completely fine. I will break it down for you. So in July 2021, if I'm not mistaken, Rockstar released the Tunis DLC. And with the Tunis DLC, we got 17 cars, we got the Alice Car Meet, we got Street Races, we got Pursue Races, we got Sprint Races in the Alice Car Meet, and various other activities in the Alice Car Meet. And we also got the business which was called the auto shop, or is called the auto shop. You have five different locations where you can purchase it from. And location doesn't really matter for this one. Except for if you're now looking at the price, we have one in Mission Row for 1.67 million. Then you have one in Strawberry for 1.7 million. Then you have one in Rancho for 1.750 million. Then you have one in Burton, for 1.8 million and you have one in La Mesa for 1.9 million. I usually go for the one in Mission Row. It's close to everything and it's quick and easy to get in and out of the auto shop there. The auto shop also comes with different upgrades. So you can add staff to it. You can add modifications like pictures and stuff, etc doesn't really matter but the main thing would be a staff and another lift the reason why you need another lift is because the auto shop actually functions as an auto shop where you are repairing customer vehicles and if you add an extra lift you can repair two vehicles at a time and this can profit you anywhere between 20 to 30 thousand dollars per car so if you have two loves, that's about 60, 40 to 60 grand you can make on profits. Now the nice thing about the customer cars is that you can purchase them as well. And the, re the reason why it's a nice feature is because sometimes customers bring in vehicles that Rockstar has removed from the website and then you can purchase them for the regular price, or if you have already done the modifications, the modification prices will be included. So that is the lifts out of the way. The reason why you want to maybe add staff members is so that they can do the deliveries for you while you go do something else. So that is the lifts and the staff members. Moving on further on the ground, you also get a 10 car garage with the auto shop free of charge there's no extra fee involved it's built into the price of the auto shop and garage space is a key feature in gta online so much so that they monetize the video behind the vinewood car club garage okay so 10 car garage what else does the auto shop offer you the auto shop also offer you another money making so you can make money with the customer vehicles you can make money with exotic exports there's a board in the auto shop that allows you to collect cars around the map it appears as blue dots and then once you deliver the car they will give you twenty thousand dollars and these refreshes every day you get 10 cars to deliver every day and should you deliver 10 cars in one day, you will get a, another bonus. Okay, so we have already discovered that you can make money by delivering customer vehicles. You can make between 30 
between 20 and 30,000 if you have one lift and if you have two lifts between 40 and 60,000. And then for each exotic export car that you deliver, you get $20,000 and your reputation also increases in the LS economy, which can also bring in some profit. Okay. Then we move into the main reason why you have the business. And that is the auto shop contracts. There's eight auto shop contracts in total, and they pay out between 155,000 and 270,000, being the highest one. And these contracts are a ton of fun. Um, you can make a lot of money from it quickly. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to make between 150 to 270,000. Each contract has two prep missions and each prep mission give you $10,000 upon completion. Here's the list of contracts. We have the bank contract, which pays out 178,000. We have the data contract, which pays out 170,000. We have the super dollar contract, which pays out 185,000. We have the prison contract, which pays, which pays out 175,000. We have the agency deal, which pays out 182,000. We have the ECU job, which pays out 172,000. We have the lost contract, which pays out 180,000. And then we have the union depository contract, which pays out 270000 And from this list, I would advise you to do the union depository contract, the ECU job, the prison contract, the super dollar deal, and the bank contract. The data contract, the agency deal, and the loss contract is on the more difficult side. But just for the first time completion, do all of them. So the auto shop is a real money making opportunity. You get an opportunity to buy, remove vehicles. You don't have to wait for Rockstar to add them into dealerships, etc. That's the benefits of the auto shop. Now the cons, you might wonder what the cons are. There isn't really a con with the auto shop. Only thing I can think of is the, the fact that Sir Santa and Katie say is super annoying but that's not something to worry about you can always mute your microphone once you have played it through the first time the next video will be about tuner vehicles i've always wanted to make a video about the tuner vehicles and it will fit in perfectly with the auto shop because the auto shop only allows you to complete the contracts with set tuner vehicles and there is about 17 of them that were released with the auto shop and two were released with the later DLC. But we'll go more into that with the next video. And I unfortunately had to scrape the Imani Tech video because we are reaching a new point of getting a new DLC soon. Less than a month away, we will get a new DLC. Might as well do the Imani Tech video then. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for watching the video if you made it this far. If you do like this new series about the businesses that you need to buy and what they bring to you, please leave a comment about what your favorite business in the game is and we will cover it in the next few weeks. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. We are trying to reach that thousand mark key. So... Cheers everyone, have a great day.